Okay, I'm gonna show you that an egg is not that intimidating. Most people think that poaching an egg or frying an egg are afraid to flip it. I'm gonna show you two easy ways to make an egg. First of all, poaching an egg. You don't have to worry about that vinegar and trying to crack that egg without breaking it in the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna put an egg right in the water with a shell on it and everything. What I'm doing is I wanna bring this up to about 143. How I can control this is by using a little ice. So basically, I'm poaching in the shell, but the secret is not to go over 143, basically keep it like that. So as I can see, I'm about 143 now. If I start to get over, I'll just drop an ice cube in it, very simply. And this just lowers it back down and we're controlling the heat. Basically, this is what an immersion circulator would do, called sous vide. You can buy them, basically they have some home ones, but if you don't have all that, easy way is just using your thermometer. Then from there, all I'm gonna do is simply take this egg out, it's been poached for about five minutes, I'm gonna simply crack it, pour this right on, and that you have a perfectly poached egg. I can just garnish this with a little salt, a little black pepper, and puyao. You got yourself a perfectly poached egg. So I'm gonna show you how to fry an egg without having to flip it and controlling what temperature you want. Some people want over easy, over medium. We don't have to worry about all that flipping thing. This is a very easy way to control your egg temperature. Simply, I'm gonna put right into the frying pan a little butter and oil. At this point, I don't wanna burn it too much, so I'm gonna take the heat off. I'm gonna go right into the oven, and this is gonna cook yolk so you can control without having to do all that flipping stuff. And I'll show you as the finished product comes. So go right into the oven, step back. I know when I'm outdoors, there's always two things I bring, whether it's camping, whether it's out the farm, I always bring a knife and a cold beer. So, if you need to cook an egg and you have forgot your cast iron, never fear, you got beer. So what I do is, first of all, I finish my beer. Ah, that was good. Then what I'll do is, I'll use my knife. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this guy. Basically make like a little pot, so to speak. So I can kind of make a perfect, little fried egg. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna drop my egg right into here. I'm gonna grab my egg. Got myself an egg. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna try and make a, let's see here, I got some little pieces of wood here that I can grab uh, to make myself something to hold this. Here we go, like this. Put it in, just try and make a little hole. What I'm gonna do is just make a little cooking vessel and try not to smoke my eyes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him right on there. Something like this. Okay? Don't burn yourself. I'm going to set that just like that. I'm going to take my egg. I'm going to crack the egg and put it right in there. So, now I've got myself the fried eggs in the work. We'll let that cook a little bit. So basically, I waited, you know, about a minute, minute and a half. I think we're about ready to take our beer can. Carefully, let's just flip this bad boy out. And really quick, with a hot hand, so you'll burn yourself. Booyah. Campfire fried egg. Still a nice pretty yolk. I mean, can't get much better than that with no cooking utensils. So, I'm here, out in the woods. I forgot my cooking utensils. Not a problem. Basically, I, did, I had some foil, so I made myself a little saute pan. I'm just using this to hold it up. And I can really go from here, cook my egg right in there. So we're just gonna get him cooking a little bit. Don't be afraid to use some sticks. It's not gonna hurt you. We don't have utensils. It's fine, we're still gonna eat. When you're hungry, it's time to eat. So, you know, you can go scrambled if you want. You can use this right here and just eat right out of it. This becomes a plate and a cooking vessel. So I'm just frying this bad boy. Gonna let him go nice. Oh yeah, now we can see it. If you're around the woods, you know, you can do a little foraging, find some mushrooms, some herbs, find some nice chives, you can basically throw it right in there too for a little flavor. Don't be afraid to season with what's around you. All 
All right, so I like my egg about kind of, you know, medium, so kind of medium rare. I like that little runny yolk. Um, but basically from here, I mean, you just got yourself a little, a little serving pan as well and something to eat out of. So I like to just be able to sit here and use this as my plate as well. Basically, I've used it for two things. Some foil happen to be in. And if it's a little, if you want it cooked a little bit more, we can just break the yolk just like that. Kind of mix that all together. And yum. Got some nice egg right from the farm. Delicious. Campfire egg. Beer can top is my spoon. Can't beat it. Mmm. 